fucking episode. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the S Team Podcast. I'm Jack Millington, and joining me this week, he's co-hosted the podcast before. It's Matty. Whole lot of chicken, Morris. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, no word of a lie, people. We've just had dinner, and Matty decided that he'd have a whole chicken to himself. <laughs> uh, how was it, Matty? Uh, very dry. Very, very dry. Had to use milk. Should, should, should have whacked some butter onto it. And <laughs> work the butter in. Oh, like, why didn't I think of that? You should have done actually. You should have bought like a whole tub of butter. Oh. And then what? Then what I'd have seen is literally just a chicken mess all over your face. <laughs> but um, it's funny because speaking of chicken, he's going to Turkey. Why? <laughs> <Boy. laughs> How perfect was that setup? But um, yeah, he's going to Turkey. You probably wonder, people, where's Mikey? Wow, Mikey's doing some research on Welsh women for us, so he's... No, I'm really joking. He is actually in Wales, though. Uh, he's on holiday in a tent in Anglesey somewhere, so Mikey, when you're listening to this, just want to say, um, sorry about that, mate. You, you know, I know you got a little boy on the way, but good luck to you. I'm sorry you didn't get any in the tent. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be sat there like, fuck you, fuck you, Jack and Matty, fuck you. <laughs> but, um... He's also sitting in your place, no word of a lie, Mike. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trial something today and probably next week with Mikey. I want to see if this... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, uh, a music clip, right? It's just, just, you know, a noise. It's going to be a popular song. I want you to guess what the year is. Yeah. Oh, I had a guess at this, and I was a year out. Okay. And it's quite... It's quite po- and if you don't know what the song is... Then I'll find another song that's from the same year, and then all right, okay, I'm just gonna play it quickly. It won't be long. Everyone, should, yeah. How funny! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna stop it now, but what what year do you reckon? I couldn't believe. I couldn't believe. I was only a year out, and I was made up, but. I mean, it's late. Uh, I mean, early. Oh, I was going to say 2012 <laughs> at first, but I'm well off. Am I? I'm not telling you. It, it, you. You go with a guess and then... Yeah, I'll say 2012. 2011. Fuck's sake. I said 2010. <laughs> I genuinely... I couldn't believe it when I looked at the thing and it went... Um, when it said 2011, I thought... That was four years ago. I thought it was, I thought it was earlier than that. I thought it was... So. In fact, I thought it might have been 2009. But I, I uh, went... I was um, the reason why I'm trialing this people is because I was um, sat with a friend of mine the other the other week, and we were talking about music about what year it was. And I went, anyways, do you remember the Kelly Clarkson song, that famous song that she did, and she got ripped. That was the first song she did after Pop Idol or American Idol, whatever it is. Who's Kelly Clarkson? Do I have to play the song for you to remember? Yep. Um. I can't, I can't even remember the name of the song. But, um, hang on. Actually, you might want to take a toilet break while we wait for this. No. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what a song was called. Oh, dear. I actually. Oh, Since You've Been Gone. Since You've Been Gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah, right. Yeah. Are we even talking about that song? No, <laughs> God, that was years ago. That when that came. Was, no, it wasn't that long ago. Was, yeah, it's been years. It's like, a, do you remember it? Do you know when that came out? Two thousand four. Two thousand four. I knew it was two thousand four, but like, to confirm it, I couldn't. I was like, that was eleven years ago. And I thought, wow, I wasn't even to double digits then. <laughs> you were. Hey. <laughs> you were two hundred. <laughs> that was ten. <laughs> two hundred. <laughs> Just about to leave primary school. Yeah. And into the realms of hell, but um. Yeah. We, it's funny we should talk about music because anyone who's loves cheesy pop music and you know is into the whole world stage your division was on last night boring and like the critics like himself over there and Mikey would say exactly the same thing it's boring I watch it because I'm not going to lie I love your I do I know it's cheesy and I know there's so many things wrong with it and I know nowadays it's more 
politics more than anything else. Especially with the Russian woman who came second. When she took the lead, you could hear the boos from the crowd. <laughs> it was funny. I was sitting there laughing my head off. And there, there's two reasons why I watch it. One, because there are some decent songs in there every year. This year probably being the best. And secondly, Graham Norton is like the best presenter of all time. Oh, oh, where did we come last? Again. I was actually going to get to that. Uh, Sweden won with uh, 365 points. We we came 24th with five. Five points! I thought that at first, and then I realised, I looked at who finished bottom. There were only three countries that finished bottom of us. France got four. Uh, Austria didn't get any points. No <laughs> point. And Germany didn't get any. Either. So I just went, at least we beat the French and the Germans. <laughs> I was made up. I was like, get in. And it was... Obviously, last last night it was sixty years of Eurovision, and to celebrate that, they invited the Australians to come in. Literally, people just cross out the word Euro and do world. I genuinely think you could make a, a song contest. Do the twenty best selling countries of music in the world. You get the best artists from each one of them and call it World Vision, and see, get them to write a song for that event, and then let them sing it live. I think that would be genius. Can you just do one song from every single country, like the Olympics for? But for music? Well, this is what Eurovision is, except it's just Europe. Europe. <laughs> but they invited the Australians in. I know some people think it's like 8,000 miles away. 60 years, they invited them. They actually came fifth. <laughs> and their song, in my eyes, was actually the best song of the lot. Have you got a clip of it? No. <laughs> no, I do, I do but if, if you want me to load it, it will take four years. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, I'll show you it later afterwards. Yeah, so. So, we had, we, our song was... By Electro Velvet. Who? Uh, it was a 1920s influenced swing act. To be honest with you, it was actually the best we've had in a good few years. It was and actually we've a decent shit the past few years. We haven't had a good song because it's Jade Ewan in 08. And she came fifth. We haven't had it. And, and before that, the last time we did well was, what, Katrina and the Waves in 97 when we won? We won in 97. That was wow. the last time we won We won in Eurovision. No, that was the last time we were in top three. <laughs> no, we did have. We we did have a couple after that that were sort of second and third, and then Gemini, obviously the famous case of Britain, got null point, balls everything up for us, and we haven't done anything since then. We even had Blue, we even had Blue represent Eurovision, and they came like, they got a hundred points. I think they came tenth or twelfth, something like that. And I just thought, wow, what the? F-? <laughs> it's like I could raise a song. We could raise a song. We could do better than Mikey sucks. Mikey sucks. Mikey sucks. No, we need to actually create a song that's not going to normal tune to it I, I I do love your division uh, Sweden won Russia second Italy third Belgium fourth and Australia in top five I'd love to invite well you we are we are in the Australian so we came first that, that's it all done <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what I'd say to you the British Empire strikes back <laughs> I'd love to you know what I'd love it if they did for like, uh, this, like maybe next year or something they go we're inviting the Americans that'd be the best thing because they just wouldn't understand what's going on they'd have to call it World Vision then wouldn't they oh yeah, yeah definitely have to call it, I reckon they should so people your division makers come to Jack I can sort that for you yeah you want I, and Mikey just because Mikey would be the funniest <laughs> presenter in the world they'd be like well uh, that was crap <laughs> moving on to the next one it's from France so they're going to be crap as well but um, yeah <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine that. Oh, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? They're shit. They're shit. They're shit. <laughs> They're all shit. <laughs> right, England gets eight fat. Do you know what? Do you know what's dead funny, actually, speaking about your vision? There was two two things that happened. First one, that obviously they go to each country when they're voting, and it's mm. someone in their country, and they went to Russia, and they went to and he goes, Do's point and he goes, It's for Russia Obviously you can't vote for yourself. Obviously countries can't vote for themselves. It was the Russia. No, no, I'm only joking. No, all you heard was Boo <laughs> Graham Norton was just sat there like that joke did not land. <laughs> <laughs> Graham not Graham Norton, honest he um this year did something there was a guy who, I think where was it was it Belarus was it was talked t- about the uh, the voting system that yeah. they'd done. And he did the first seven points, and he and the guy finally pops up on the screen, and he goes, "Oh, that's a bright, brightly coloured outfit." And I started laughing, and he goes, "So he must be a children's entertainer." He <laughs> <laughs> just had to spin to it that, that Teddy Rogan didn't have, and I, I think he's brilliant. Last year was the best one when the uh, they were all going around celebrating Eurovision for 
like landmarks and Graham Norton got a landmark I think it was the fifth time he'd done it yeah. and he went oh yeah we all the different countries are aware of him and they they, they, they surprised him he was sitting in the booth and then the, the camera pans on comes into the room and he's like oh I wasn't expecting anyone here with him being he is gay like and with him being the way he is he's but wasn't expected it he went oh this is brilliant he had a cake for him and everything and then fireworks and confetti and everything started going off and he was like oh my god and then he, the best line I've ever heard he goes oh, he claps his hands together and goes, it's like the gay wedding I'll never have <laughs> <laughs> I was just lost it I genuinely think he's a genius mm, but, um, he is funny and that's why I watched your division for hey that reminds of- me of another story mm. Ireland and their folk yeah, they got a um, gay marriage in as well, yeah, didn't they? That they was voted it, that it was in yesterday. Voted it in. Proud for, happy for them. Mm. That's a good thing, because, you know, anyone, and it was, a, it was a big vote. I think it was like 80% or something like they that. They all voted for it. Massive vote. You know, and, uh, um, I, 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 you know what? And where religion is so strong in Ireland as well, imagine what the religious leaders are like right now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> to be honest with you, it serves them right. They need to get with the times. Oh, yeah. Instead of doing children. <laughs> <laughs> Matty, Matty Morris giving you the controversial take on news since 1994. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. That is brilliant. Um, I'm going to move it on to another story now. We haven't got that many um, big news stories this oh, week because... We've got many small ones. Got, you know, we've got a bit of weird, weird Yay, news. Yeah, I like weird news. Um... But this one's about uh, the Bank of England. Again. <laughs> Did you see this? This was, what date is it today? 24. This was yesterday, actually. The ba- <laughs> this is how stupid England can be as a country. It goes, the Bank of England has confirmed it's researching the final ri- financial risks of the UK leaving the EU. Now, you're probably thinking, well, hang on a minute, why are they telling us that they're already assessing it? Shouldn't that be published afterwards? Yeah, it's because they accidentally sent an email to the Guardian. Wait, what thick can you be? They sent an email to the Guardian saying newspaper assessing. It, it, it was the supposed risks. to go to somewhere else, and it went to the Guardian. How thick do you have to be to work at the Bank of England to go? I know about money and stuff, and I've got a degree in finance, but I can't know how to send an email to my best mate. How freaking stupid's that? Sounds like Mikey. A senior. <laughs> See, it says, you know, and D- Mr. David Cameron has promised an in-out referendum on the. EU membership by the end of 2017 come we down we have to wait a, even longer now we have to wait until for two years now to decide whether or not we're going to be in the EU I and mean, it will be down to the public Matty yes or no no wait, wait. to leave oh yes yeah I'm, I'm actually in the same place I know I know we know people that, like Garen who's against that and he wants to sustain mm. I can understand but I'd rather leave because I want to show us that we can get the British Empire back that's what I was about to say <laughs> <laughs> the Empire strikes back <laughs> British well, Empire Mark Two. <laughs> Matty leads the way. <laughs> God no. Um, it. I mean, it could work. It might not. <laughs> if we had the support from Australia, New Zealand, America, we will have it off America. To be honest, America closest allies, even though. Even though we're about as far away from them as flipping pl- Mars is to Pluto, but. Yeah, I reckon if we had all their support, we'd make it. It's the fucking. Europeans I hate <laughs> you just hate people in general eh yeah, true but Europeans <laughs> hate most uh, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I should talk about to do with the the EU I mean Ooh. I'm it's an interesting one and I, I can't I can't wait to see what the decision is because I'm, I'm with whatever I'm with whatever decision they go if they say yeah to leave or no to stay I'm happy with it either I'm not too fussed hopefully I won't be here by 2017 anyway <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be dead. No, <laughs> I'll have been hit by a bus. I must probably me too. If I in my car, <laughs> or if I move to Japan, which I want to do. Uh, oh, there's another story in the bank as well. Mm. We had zero percent inflation. I see that, and and to be honest, I was shocked. I, that's the f- first time ever, isn't it? It's not the first. Well, not the first time, time ever, but it's the first time in years. Good long time, which means I start. Which means up. we're. <laughs> my brother thought that's good that's good people are buying it I was like you're screwed <laughs> <laughs> your generation's screwed mate we'll have already got jobs so we can struggle through it you're screwed <laughs> but um, they think they're going to be able to buy more because the prices go down a bit 
But then they might go down too much, and the money's worth. Well, less. If it, it'll become like Japan. It'll just become stagnant, and the money be worth less. If we can stay at zero percent and not drop any further, that'd be alright. But I reckon we will. I reckon if we do leave the, the EU, it would help. Yes. But you know, I mean, I know somewhere right now, Mikey's confused. Because we're thinking, talking about finance. He's stuff. talking about stuff that we don't normally talk about, which is great. Because when you're here, I can talk about things, and he can't argue with it. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey sat there like, I don't want to be talking. God, why do we have to talk about that? And I'm like, do do I see you doing the podcast? Is it your choice? No, shut no. up. <laughs> but, I don't um, it would work if we stayed at zero. Yeah, but not for long. Not for long, no. Um, we're gonna move it on because. Weird American news. Oh, the Americans. Might as well talk about them. They they were on fire for the last two weeks. Wait, this literally week. on fire. Like, like literally. Running around the street. Ah! That joke did not land. But did me. <laughs> well, it's not hard, is it? It made you laugh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, a Florida judge um, has... Gonna, is going to have to oversee this trial because Michael and James Remelius, if that is an American name, don't know what it is, it's both 52 nice. years of age, were arrested a Tuesday night after the two started arguing with each other in the front yard of an Orange County home. Orange City home, which is basically Orange County, which is, if you don't, if you know anything about Florida, it's full of orange women, literally. No, that's Birkenhead. No, that's, no, that's why it's called Orange County. They're all orange. Pretty much. As in, everyone's orange. As in, in prison, orange jumpsuit, or is it. And tan. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, now, the reason why they've been arrested is you're probably thinking, well, the argument wouldn't usually. Yeah, the argument wouldn't usually like warrant an arrest. It'd be like a warning or something like that. No, it's because they started throwing bricks at each other. Sounds like me and Mikey. Sounds like <laughs> something the North End would do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's just like Michael threw his brick. I love that. Michael threw his brick, causing a small <laughs> cut on his brother's leg. James countered and struck Michael in the right eye, which was soon bloody and swollen. Um, although the twins are identical, they're not identical anymore. No, not one's got a pumped up eye, one's got a broken ankle. J- they're not exactly that um, that alike because James has been arrested twice since two thousand and ten. <coughs> Whereas Michael's been arrested 20 times since 2005. So that's what, twice a year? Wait, 20. Yeah, 10 yeah, years. Yeah, ten two, years, year. two years, two years. Two years, twice a year. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I forget, you've struggled to figure twice. Oh my days. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 what possesses people to throw bricks at each other? What? I mean, I could understand if you were rioting and you were throwing bricks against the police because they got riot shields, but. Normal I, human bit. Well, they are American, but I don't see a stick to hit him with. Oh, a brick! Uh, you're <laughs> funny, you. you I, can imagine if, I can imagine someone in North. You're not funny, you lads. You take the mick out of Melissa again. I'm gonna knock your block off with this brick, lad. <laughs> you know that's. I'm actually really no, getting good at my. Show my friend with a shovel. <laughs> do you know what? I, do you see what I mean? I just don't understand. And the other thing is, is is that. Why bricks? Like, why? What happened to the good old fashioned fist fight where people it was just question of strength and agility? Why do people have to fight with knives and bricks Guns. and anything? Because what? You all a bunch of pussies. Exactly. I fight with my fist. I fight with my feet. So did I punch my br- mate in the um, stomach the other day? Good. Jiu jitsu boy. <laughs> um, actually, this I thought at first I thought this was an American story, but it's not. Um, now. This is a, a medical marvel in my eyes. This is incredible. You're not a medical marvel. You defy the laws of physics. But <laughs> now, when some remember the octomom, the what gave birth to octoplets, eight children, uh, a I couple of years reading, ago. I remember reading it. A couple of years ago. Well, this woman has given birth to quadruplets. Now you're probably thinking, well, why is that? Why is this in the news? The reason why this is in the news is because of her age. Do I say 12? No. 14? 65. <laughs> 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 A 65 year old German grandmother oh, gave, no birth, it's German. gave birth to quadruplets at the Berlin hospital this week with three boys and a girl born prematurely at 26 weeks old. 
apparently in good health and have got a really good chance of surviving. Do you know, though, how many children she already had? 20. 13. And seven grandkids. Slash. <laughs> those kids, those kids, like when they're one years old, one year old, are going to be struggling to walk, and then only to find out that their mums in exactly the same position as they are. <laughs> they'll be wearing nappies at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, my brain just does not work. The four, the four babies who were born by cesarean uh, on May the nineteenth, which was Tuesday. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Weighed between 655 grams and 960 grams. We measure it in pounds, don't we? Yes. Well, how much is that? Don't know. Uh, <laughs> give us a second, people. <laughs> We've got to work out the calculation. Uh, 655 grams in pounds. I don't know how much that is. I actually can't put a gauge on how much. 1.4 pounds. Is that it? How much does a normal baby weigh? I, I thought it was three or four pounds. More than that, isn't it? Well, that was massive. <laughs> well, how much were you? Quite heavy. How much were you? Don't remember the size. You do. <laughs> you do, but you won't say, and I won't go any further into it. But uh, apparently, the woman had received fertility treatments in Ukraine and is the oldest woman in the world to have had quadruplets. Although other women of her age and older have given birth, I don't know what the oldest woman in the world to give. I'm, I'm sure it's in the seventies. I know the oldest man's out of a kid was 90. Odd. What a stud. <laughs> it, it's a shame, though, for the for the dad, though, that he doesn't get to see his, his kid grow up to, like, teenager. There's no way yeah. he'd have made it past. I'm surprised 20. he could even get it up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remember, people, that, that Matty's here, it's like the dirty side of things is coming out rather than the, the normal side of things, like... Well, at least at least you've got his laugh, whereas Mikey pulls a face. <laughs> but uh, I'm just trying to see. There was more weird news, but I can't seem to find it. Bang! Ah, uh, tick tock, tick tock. Why don't you tell people about about where you're going on your holiday? Oh uh, yeah, actually, I don't want people following me now. Well, they don't know when you're going. You just told them next week. Yeah, but they don't know what day. Well, I've just told them now, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Turkey, people. Going there for a week and a half. <sighs> Sun. Booze. Attempted sex. <laughs> I did see one story this week, actually, by the way, people. I haven't got, I haven't got the video because it's through one of those players that just don't work when you need them to. Uh, you know what I mean by the video players they just hmm. just use YouTube and exactly. the um, there was a man who was getting shot at in his car and he got out of his car and he was on the phone he was like oh I'm being shot I'm being shot you can see the CCTV footage and then all you see out of his pocket he just pulls a flipping 9 millimeter and that's our stupid and he's on the phone and you're like wow oh. <laughs> apparently apparently the guy hasn't been found but the shoot the, the original shooter has and no one knows why he was shooting at him but I just, I just like yeah, yeah. Oh, some guy's shooting me. Give me one minute. I'm gonna start shooting. At, honestly, start shooting at him, and I thought that's incredible. That's a legend. <laughs> Absolutely, and he looks badass while he does it. It's like something out of a film. Genius. Absolutely. Uh, people speaking of films, I am gonna try and see Mad Max because I want to do a review. Oh, on I've that. seen it. You've actually seen it. Yep, seen it. They came out. You went to see it. I said. I said to you two. It was my mate's birthday. I said to you. And I don't want to ruin it for you. But who? How do you know there's a but? Is it good? Because I know there's no plot in it at all. I oh, you know that part then. Let Let's just say. Uh, that's the main downfall. The no plot. That's the only downfall I could see. Action. Brilliant. Yeah. Soundtrack. Even better. Yeah. It's just a plot. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. To, be honest, to be honest with you, with Mad Max films, there was never really a plot anyway. Okay, there is a bit of a plot. There's not. There's like the bare bone skeleton exactly. of the plot. I, I am aware of this. Plot. I'm going to see it for the action. I'm not seeing it for the plot. Actions. <laughs> anyone who Joy. goes, anyone who goes to see a flipping Mad Max film for the plot is literally just dumb. <laughs> Him over there would be the right idea. I've never seen Mad Max before anyway. That's my first time. 
Really? Yeah. Right, people. Honestly, I say I enjoyed the action. That's all I'll say. Good. Good. Uh, da, 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 da. The, the thing is, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, we've already got onto gaming news and we're only 25 no, we minutes in. We are. Because I'm on gaming news now. And that's Sweet. What I'm we're on gaming news. <gasps> Project Cars. Not yet. We'll Damn get it. To that in a minute. Um, because there's a very special birthday to celebrate this week. Do you oh. have any? 35 years old, this character is as well. This character. Probably and it, probably one of the most successful games of all Crash time. Crash Bandicoot. It's not 35 years old. Crash Bandicoot came out in 1997. Damn it. Well, it doesn't, it's Mario. Not even, Mario's older than 35, isn't it? It's younger than 35, shall we, I think. Like 35 years old? That would be like 1980s, wouldn't it? 1980. 1980. <laughs> <laughs> 1980. Uh, if, I, if, I, if, I gave, if I gave any... The mouth that bites... Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Pac-Man. Yep. I can't believe you just read the mouth that bites. It is Pac-Man's birthday, though, people, this uh, this week. <laughs> that, oh, that movie's come out as well, isn't it, with um, Fingy? Pixels. Yeah. And Adam's, it looks awful. It looks fucking hilarious. Anyone who thinks He's that's... my child. You will listen to me. That's the only funny part Hello. of the flipping thing. He bear me. Kill him. Um, and there's... And someone's wrote an article here about the 13 things that you didn't know about Pac-Man. And I thought, you know what, it's Pac-Man's birthday, why not go through it? So the first one, uh, the filthy-minded public stopped Pac-Man being called Puck-Man. Have a guess why. I'm dirty-minded, I should think of this. You should know. Well, know. not dirty-minded, filthy-minded. I am filthy. Uh, nah, dirty and filthy are two different things. Okay, I'm not filthy-minded. Get rid of the P and put an F on the front. Oh, uh, fuck, man. There you go. <laughs> That's why they called it Pac-Man. Um, Fac-Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like man da, 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 da. Uh, Did you know that each of the ghosts has their own personality? Really? Yeah. There's one dirty-minded. No. There's one a whore. The fu- no. <laughs> the ghosts, are, apparently the ghosts are called... Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. Whoever thought those names have no life. <laughs> you go back to the 1980s and you tell them that, Matthew. They were all high back then. They should have been. Nah, no, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. 20 years out of sync. You mean the 60s? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but apart, the reason why they're all got is like the four. They've all got Blinky and Pinky chase Pac-Man directly. Directly team up, team up to get him. Inky is the, the one that goes for an ambush and no one knows what Clyde does and he's the most feared one because he just goes whatever the freaking hell he wants <laughs> genuinely no he's got his own rhythm he goes in his own way it, Pac-Man also is the most recognised video game character in the world I'd I'd say Pikachu. I guarantee no yep. no wish it, it was. It's, a, it's a study shows I wish proof. it was Pikachu but it's not I wish it was <laughs> 94% of people can figure out that Pac-Man just from the picture is Pac-Man well, true. It's like fucking. I bet you most. I bet people who don't watch Pokemon would would know Pikachu, but everyone knows Pac-Man. You go down the line in twenty years' time, I guarantee more people will know Pac-Man than they will Pikachu. Oh, doubt it. I'm telling you. Twenty kids years nowadays time. do not watch Pokemon. They play games, and they will play Pac-Man. Now you know what kids do now: smoke weed and stab people. Stab, mm. stab, 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 stab. Um, you can actually get a perfect game of Pac-Man, you know. Okay. Apparently. The world mm-hmm. record is a score of three million three hundred thirty-three thousand three hundred sixty <gasps> on level two hundred twenty-five, which is such a feat that the game actually keels over and crashes. So that is the perfect game. It won't go any further than that. A um, few players have pulled this off. Um, the world record holder, though, did it managed it in three hours thirty-three minutes and twelve point six nine seconds. I did Le Mans for six hours, which was hard. Imagine playing Pac-Man for three and a half hours. That would be hard. That would be really hard to do. I reckon I'd get bored. Oh, you you don't care. Did you know that Pac-Man was originally an attempt to get girls into video games? Which is why they've got Mrs. Pac-Man. Girl video games. Sorry. (laughs) Genuinely, people, you thought Mikey was bad. This one is just like... I haven't picked him off a shelf or anything. He was genetically engineered to be like this, just to wind me up at some point in life. 
or Mikey actually no he winds Mikey up more than he winds me up <laughs> but it was designed to annoy Mikey actually been designed to annoy everybody in life yeah it could be worse you, you know could actually be worse um, I don't want to be worse I like how I am <laughs> it's also Pac-Man is also the most successful coin operated game despite official figures saying that Space Invaders has probably got more gross revenue apparently no Ooh. Apparently, there's 400,000 Pac-Man arcade units. That's fine. Which is more, du- which is double than of. Um, it's double that of Street Fighter Two, and oh, 40,000 more than Space Invaders. To be honest, I like Street Fighter more than Pac-Man. But to be honest, I prefer Dead or Alive. Job done. <laughs> Tekken. And Tekken sucks now. Oh. Does Tekken sucks? At least Dead or Alive still good. <laughs> yeah. It is. Except um, when you beat me. Pac Man's made more cameos than Stan Lee. Uh, do you know how many uh, games this thing's have bloody appeared in? For some reason, I used to play Ridge Racer as a kid. It's it's in virtually every single freaking Ridge Racer. Really? As like a bonus car. I just don't understand that. Wait, you can drive Pac Man in Ridge Racer. <laughs> Honest, I've done it. It's it's mad. That'd be funny. Honestly, it just says what well, it comes up with the car names. You got like. Rager and Phalatrix and cars like that and he goes and then you go to the bonus one he goes Pac-Man <laughs> um, the wor- I'm trying to think there's also an online big the world's biggest game of Pac-Man can, you can play it for free online it's apparently huge sweet out my leg oh yeah I remember April Fools a couple of years ago when he put Pac-Man on the flipping Google Maps all the roads got turned to Pac-Man Oh. I remember that for a couple of years ago. This is actually mentioned here. Oh. I remember. I remember playing Pac-Man on, on my own road. It's flipping hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, it was brilliant. <laughs> playing Pac-Man just in the middle of nowhere. Um, also, Pac-Man has had a top ten hit single in America. Oh my god! What is it going actually, got. It's called a Pac-Man Fever. I've heard it before. Um, I have. Oh jeez! Uh, actually, got to number nine in America, huh. and has sold more than two and a half million copies to date. Actually, did a, they did a follow, they did the band that did it, um, Buckner and Garcia, did a song called "Do the Donkey Kong," which I know, but it just wasn't that successful. Do the Donkey Kong. I remember Do the Con- Donkey Kong. Yeah. Mm. This game. This bear in mind. This was what nineteen eighty one. Yeah. So a year after Pac Man came out, uh, the Pac Man defense is also a recognised economic turn. We should know that. Uh, it's a tactic that a company can use to stave off, stave off a hostile takeover. In which they turn the tables on the would be buyer, buyer, okay. and attempt to buy the the hostile takeover instead. Oh. Flick it back on themselves. That's actually quite a good idea. Yeah, it's a good name. Uh, the I'm also- pack man, you. <laughs> no, 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 God, yes. no. Uh, Pac-Man also was the first cartoon based on a video game. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I've never heard of that. That's the only one I don't there know on here. Some Pac-Man actually TV series now. Yeah, there are. Yeah, it's but I, I didn't know it was the first one. And uh, Sony has just sent Pac-Man into space to celebrate his thirty-fifth birthday. Really? There's a great picture of him here. Pac-Man. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, there's some facts you didn't know about Pac-Man, and if you're under the age of ten and you don't know who Pac-Man is, go ask your dad. Um, or your mum. Don't ask your mum; she'll just marry you. Um, couple of things, quick one before, quick things before we get on to the two big things. Obviously, you've got to do your review project cards in a minute. <laughs> uh, F1 people's been delayed. Oh. As me and Matty already know, it's been delayed to July the 10th. No reason's been given. There is a gameplay trailer out. I'm thinking the reason why they I haven't seen it. that yet, you know. I still need to watch it. It's literally 20 seconds long and you don't see Sod all. Well, you do, but you don't see anything that really means anything. So no graphics or anything? No, you see you see cars and Hamilton. What's the point of having a video showing cars go around the track when they could give me the game where I could drive a car around the track? I think I know why they've delayed it. Graphics? No. Gameplay? No. Where the frickin' hell's Mana F1? It's not. It wasn't in the game, was it? They said oh, when sh- it was going to be released. They said Mana wasn't going to be in the game until it was updated. Now it's been getting delayed by a month. They can put the car in the game, and I can do my career mode as Steve O, Steve O, Steve O. 
Will Steve-O! <laughs> I've not seen him get do any good this year. No offence to the guy. Will Stevens is probably the best driver in a Marussia car ever. Even better than Max Chilton was. Max Chilton was literally the world's biggest pay driver. In fact, I think if, if Bianchi hadn't have had his accident, Bianchi and Stevens would be one hell of a team. Bianchi was bloody brilliant. The Stevens is quick. Is he still in his bed? Or is he? Yeah. He's, he's, he's not in a coma anymore. He's not in an artificial coma anymore. He's in a natural one now. That is the only improvement. I said I said to you two at the time that he would never drive again. I don't think he will. And I think now that the t- and Mikey admitted it the other day. He said, "Yeah, you were right when you said he won't drive again." I knew. I just knew. As soon as I seen the crash, I was like, "That's it. Game over." You you you, you can't pull a massive and get away with it like that. He got hit by a spring. You oh. can't crash into a tractor basically and get away with it, unless you are Jesus, which sadly Bianchi is not. He was doing brilliantly as well that season, and then I, I had to. Mm. Like, it's a shame. It's a shame. As of right at this moment, though, they are about forty minutes into the Grand Prix. Shit. As of this moment. <laughs> oh. But you can watch it later on the Beeb. Mm. My dad's watching live now. What the buggy? Well, we uh, well we can watch it on the BBC, which is just better. <laughs> yeah, in a way. It yeah. is better. Eddie which Jordan, is, you can't beat Eddie. You Jordan. can't beat Eddie Jordan in his shirt, can you? <laughs> or, or his way to jump in conversations. I'll just drag you out of that conversation. Just Hello, boy. I love Eddie Jordan. He's just <laughs> hilarious. The man is a genius, and and the clothes he wears literally make my day. The, it, it's testament to the fact that there's a Facebook page about Eddie Jordan's shirts. <laughs> kind of, kind of says a lot, doesn't it? That's it's got a few good. thousand likes as well. Has it? I'm one of those people. <laughs> I Eddie Jordan's shirt is brilliant. Um, also, this week, this is a big, big week for the um, racing games. Because um, obviously, E3 is coming out next month. It's the 24th today. God, we're only if we're not that far away from it now. It's always mid June, isn't it? It's signed up at the 10th. 16th. 16th. I'll be back in time for that. Just double check. I'm pretty sure it's the 16th. But I'll Google it now. While I'm Googling for the date, um, just a quick thing about um, WRC5. Tiniest, tiniest bit of um, yeah. gameplay was uh, shown in really? the first development driver. They, would do, they, would, they show these um, development diaries. It is the 16th, 2018 V3, by the way. And on this developer di- diary, they've already done them for Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo, which is coming out at sort of the same time, I think. Uh. It's WRC5 they've already shown the developer diaries WRC waited they've just released their first one this week the tiniest amount of alpha footage which is literally 3 seconds long um, was shown I've got to be honest it looked pretty good even from that alpha footage I was I was impressed I, it looked like it was Australian I'm pretty sure it was and I was watching the uh, car go through the, the outback and I was like that looked pretty decent even if it's I mean admittedly it's only alpha footage but it looks better than Sebastian Loeb's cockpit by... view or no Wide it view. was ground view which if you want to have a look at how good WRC games are it's always got to be ground view you can have good interior viewing interior cam and everything but Depends to, to, to really drive. see how good the graphics are you need to be on the bottom and they showed that in the alpha footage and they were talking about how they modelled the cars and I was like this is impressive it's a game I'm getting people wait who made it the people who are making it this is it Codemasters no ah balls I've forgotten who's making it Um, Killerton Games never heard of them no this is the first time they've done something like this but it looks impressive and I'm looking forward to it because it's a WRC game I want to get it it'll probably have career mode because WRC games always do since 2010 when's it coming out again It'll be this late this year, later this year. Oh, okay. It'll be like October time. Oh, like we did last year of twenty thirteen. Like it was, yeah. And um, so that'll be okay. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. I don't, I don't know why. Partly because Chris Meek's going to be in it, so oh, you know. Sweet. I'm made up with that. British. Don't know what they're going to do though for the um, the actual game itself. I don't know what the career mode or anything's going to be oh, like. Multiplayer will that just be like? Everyone? Multiplayer will probably be like all WRC multiplayers literally set go. Times. That no, no, it won't be set times. It'll be everyone goes at the same time except everyone's a ghost. You can't crash into anyone. Damn it. Well, no, that's the way you want yeah, it. Yeah, I don't. It's, that'd be better than fucking Project Car. 
Do you want to give your review about Project Cars? Because there is one last thing to me to talk about, but I might as well do Project Cars. Project Cars. The thing that we're going to talk about last needs More time. A, a good bit of time here. Right, Project Cars. I'd say a pain in the fucking ass. Right, you want to play it all the time. All the time. <laughs> you play it and you can't get off it. No. <laughs> you try and get off it. Two seconds later, you're back on it. And then you're getting hit off the track by kids who can't drive. You can't blame the game for the kids. Or it's adults who can't break. You can't... Right, okay, for the kick-off people, you can't... Right, when it comes to a review, and I said I say this to Mikey, you can't blame the people online for the game. Because that's I'm just blaming, me. I'm not blaming the... Because that, that'd, be just, that'd be just harsh, because then you'd just blame everyone. I'm, I'm not saying the game's bad. I'm saying mm. the game's great. If people can drive... If people learn how to drive... I've had, a few, I've had a few really good battles online. So have I. I have brilliant ones. Me and this guy were second ahead and behind each other for five laps throughout in Silverson GP. Mm. You know, the full track. Overtaking, giving each other space, proper full on. I beat him because he went wide on the second to last corner. Fucking brilliant it was. Good, nice message, nice racing. Shame about the mistake by me. I was put forms up. Mm. Brilliant. So what were. I'd give it what a are this, this? What's the strengths of this game then? What Ooh. are the strengths? Because I know you're not used to giving individual reviews like this. The physics of it, if you get me. Yeah, the physics are impressive. I, 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 I'll say this, people. I, me and Mikey gave it a ten. First time I've given anything a ten on the podcast. And bear in mind, we're forty-eight episodes in now. I'm just giving it a ten. I'm not saying there's not problems with the game. No. I'm not saying that at all. But there's enough there just to give it a ten because it deserves the ten. But in my eyes, in my opinion, Mikey gave it the same thing. I mean. You know, the AI are Pain. slow. <laughs> they are slow in F1, where I am at the minute. I'm lapping about... On some tracks, I'm lapping about three to four seconds a lot faster than them. Other tracks, I'm only about a second in front. On Super Go-Karts, I can't even get past one because they go... between each other. No, that's just you. <laughs> that's just you. I mean... I mean, what for you? I mean, what are the big strengths? I mean, I know the physics. The graphics are brilliant. The graphics are impressive. The fact you have so many tracks to choose from. Yeah, yeah. That and they have my favorite track of all time on it. Can't you guess? Silverstone. No. Emily. Oh yeah. That's my favorite track of all time, and they actually have it. Yeah, it's been a while since. Um this was probably last time a, a game had Imola on it that was console launched was F1. probably F1 yeah and that was back in the old days I 2004 think, I think no it I think been. it was earlier than that no no it was still on calendar in 04 yeah it was I can't remember it being on the 02 game it was on the 04 yeah oh well it's my favourite track and I like that mm. <laughs> there are, I mean, you know, there are obviously there are going to be updates oh. for it once a month, and there's going to be stuff. The and p- I think that pisses me off. Joining session in freaking progress. Why does that annoy you? Because you, cut. you wait ten minutes for the game to start, because the thing doesn't load, so you can't drive. Then when you do get in the car, you're stuck on ground view. When everybody else. Well, if you, if you if you're not in if you're not in ground view, then don't bloody then just then just. No, it just, it just you are... loads ground view. You can't stop it for me. Oh, it doesn't for me. I press square once and then I'm stuck. <laughs> no, I can't change. But I, I, I love it. I actually love the game. There are prob- there penalties, problems. That's another thing. This game, yeah, corner cutting penalties. Are, they're, they're fine they're, in some they're places. They're good, but when people push you off, and then you, you get, get penalty, and they yeah. just go five straight. That drives me insane. And there are some tracks where you don't get penalties. I've well, you should that. do, yeah. I, I, this won. game doesn't feel to me like it's finished. I, I think it's a game that wasn't even finished, but it's good enough. And finished. But it's fine enough for it to still warrant a ten. And I you know, I know some people are probably thinking, "Why would you give it a ten? Why, you know, because I've been waiting for this game for such a long time and it hasn't disappointed me. I'm not going to change it from a ten because the game's only going to get better." So Matty's, whatever Matty's score is going to be, it probably will increase over time. I was going to give it a nine. A nine point. It's just a nine Just dead. a nine dead. There's nothing wrong with that. I know, it just has its issues that piss me off too much. And some of those issues, I can't say it's the game's fault, but they're still there. Mm, that's fair enough. I can't actually fault that. 
I mean, a nine is a fair enough score. Mm. And I know a lot of people would... Um, I guess the Batman beats it. <laughs> no. It will. No. <coughs> They'll do three games, they'll get to the fourth one, it'll be wrong. Um, now, people, I have to tell you a game that I'm actually really interested in getting is Witcher 3. I'm actually going to get it, you know. I'm actually really interested in oh, buying it. next payday, I'm going to get it where it's for the Xbox. I know, wait, it's for the PlayStation as well, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what to get on. <laughs> Bear in mind, people, Matty is going to be the only person out of the three of us who's going to be reviewing Halo, because you'll have it on the yeah. Xbox. Lucky yeah. busted. But, um, people, we were... It's funny, me and Mikey were only, um, only talking about this the other week. And, sure enough, Ghost Games, EA, yeah, it does, and went, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time we showed that the old legend of the racing games is coming back and coming back to its Need roots yes Need for Speed people got released a teaser at least was released on was that? The Friday Thursday a teaser. 30 second teaser and the, the simple story is this it is a reboot it's not a Need for Speed on the ground it's not a most wanted but it common. is the return of the BM. car customizations. Please say the return of the BM. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't freaking know. I'm, I'm just hoping because that BM was fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's bringing in. Um, it's basically. I reckon it to me. It looks like it's a mixture of underground and most wanted. Most wanted. Was the because they were saying far. it's a it's a nocturnal open world. Need for Speed had to be an open world, that was a fact, because there's only ever been one Need for Speed game that wasn't. Pro Treat. Sorry, there's only been one customization game where there hasn't been. On the ground itself, the original. That was an open world. Hmm. The original one. Second one was. First one was. Pro Street wasn't a customization game for me, it was a racing game. Oh. Loved it though. Um, I didn't. It said that it'll be PS4, Xbox One. Was well, um, it nocturnal, full on? Like just night time? I hope so. That's just like Midnight Club. No, Midnight Club was... No. Midnight Club was a mixture, wasn't it? Sorry, Midnight... The problem with Midnight Club was LA wasn't that good. It had its downfalls, yes, by the fact that you get hacked easy. Well, I, I wasn't even... I never got hacked. Cause no, I, it, it never, the actual game got hacked. You could see people for glow and pink stuff, which you couldn't get, which you couldn't buy. Because I had unlimited money. Because I completed the game within a day. <laughs> I completed the game within a day, so you got unlimited money. Yeah bought everything and they were having all the shit I couldn't get and the cars would be going like up to 100 in like 2 seconds and you're still going like 6 again come on come on come on <laughs> um there is a uh, teaser trailer for it, it uh, I can't I can't load it I can load it but there's like no point in me showing it because people can't see it yeah but I can see it yeah I'll show you afterwards but um basically the f- Four cars or five cars or something in it. I can't find the comment. No, I can't find the comment. Damn it. Your comment. No, there we go. No, there was a comment in it saying um, what the cars are in the uh, the trailer because people were struggling to see what it is. Um, what what people could make out was a Subaru BRZ, which is essentially a Toyota eighty GT eighty six. Or a ski on FRS because they're all exactly the same car. A 180SX 2000 GTR, which, if no one knows what that is, it's a Nissan Skyline, one of the 70s ones. A uh, Mustang from this year, 370Z, and there was a Porsche in there, but I couldn't quite tell which one it was. I know, I think it was a Turbo 911 from the Some 70s. Some she got the Porsche license, or was it a rough? It's only EA who've got the Porsche. Only it's only EA, and this is being developed, this is EA. Mm. If speed is EA, so um, you know what? I might as well. Might as well load it. Might, I might as well show you. Mm. Um, only thirty seconds. I'm surprised you didn't see this. I haven't. I bet you Mikey won't have spotted it because he's in Wales as well. I haven't. Hang on. Wait for it. Peggy free. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 
And that was music. literally it. I like the music. <laughs> that's actually a really good song, that as well. That's no way of a lie, actually. Uh, is that a cinematic? Uh, yes, it's a cinematic, isn't it? That oh, says play. it's captured in game, apparently. That's captured in game. That's what they're saying, and I read the full of the f- fifth or sixth comment, it was like, captured in game, and it was just on the DVD. Yeah, nice. <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, that's a load of balls right there. It's like captured in game, but. Do you see what I mean now? What mm. I think it could end up being a mixture of the two. I don't think it will be, but how great would that be if, you know... I remember playing Underground 2, customising all the cars. <laughs> Underground 2 went too far for me. I still liked it. I think Carbon was the best for customising cars, because it didn't go into the same detail that flipping I Underground 2. I think it was wanted, to be honest. It was too simple. You could have, you could have put one vinyl on the car. Exactly. You, you want more than one vinyl. <laughs> no, to be honest, the most wanted for me was just drive around and not get killed by cops. <laughs> oh, they did have the best, like, sort of style police chases I've ever done in a game before in my life. And, um, yeah, Need for Speed are coming out. Uh, there's going to be, it'll be this year, it'll be coming out uh, Q3, which is somewhere from August to October. When is it coming out this year? Yeah, that's coming out this year. And because they've they had. released it now. No, that's just a teaser trailer. The actual first gameplay comes out on the 15th, right on the cusp of E3, which is perfect, so Great. everyone will be keeping an eye on that. I'm really looking to E3, to E3 now because, you know, there's going to be a lot of games there. I reckon there's going to be one final trailer for Batman. I think I, there'll be another one for F1. I think there'll be a gameplay thing now because it's been delayed. There'll be something for F1, but there's something for Batman. There's been rumours of another Rockstar game coming out. Now people have been saying it. Yeah, dead too. Everyone's been saying that, but I am currently at the minute backing the underdog in this story, which is kind of kind of medic too. Which? Bully. I remember that. I think it could be that because it's been a long, long time since That's we last been seen around it. About five, six years. I was in high school when it came out. Five, six years. No wait, longer. Ten years, mate. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. No way. Well, ten, I think it might be ten or nine years, nine, ten, ten years. years. Yeah. I think it came out in 05 or 06, something like that. I was still in high school, so I got that part right. <laughs> yeah, I went. Um, I, um, this, E3, I mean, a lot, there's been a lot of news about, you know, there's not, not going to be a Fallout 4 now that, you know, even though Professor's got its own bloody conference, which kind of think, which kind of makes me think, I bet you they really have got Fallout 4. I'd be amazed if they didn't. Mm. Not that I've ever played Fallout 4, got, but it's something I want to know. Fallout 3 was the most fucking boringest game I ever played. <laughs> I could not even get past the first mission. I was like... <sighs> walking around the fucking basement. <laughs> I fell asleep, took out the disc, threw it back to my mate. <laughs> um, but, you know, a lot of people have been saying... Oh, and then there was this surface rumour about Crash Bandicoot, and I seen a teaser image saying "We shall rise again." And I see, that's see, a fake. I seen the I seen the picture straight away, and went, "No, that's a stock image of Crash." I know that's a fake, but it really does put pay to the question that the market is still there for Crash Bandicoot. Oh yeah, and I wanted to talk about this because I know we spoke about it before, but I wanted to talk about it again because if you're gonna make a Crash Bandicoot game, you need to get three things right. Mm-hmm. Matty, have a guess what those three things are. Crash. Crash, spot on. Crash needs to look like two thousand. Crash, not as as not not exactly sounds, like two. Not like exactly sounds. like two thousand. Crash, but similar. Yes, the sounds is another one. Not just to do with the sound of Crash himself, but the sound. The All way the stuff he, you have to file. Everyone he talks. <laughs> you know, I mean, everyone remembers Crash going. Whoa! Whoa! It needs to be like that. I'm now going to be the voice of Crash. Um... It needs to be like that. That you know, the styling needs to be on point. That's not a major point. The main theme, though, the main Crash theme needs to be good mm. because everyone remembers the original Crash Bandicoot theme tune, and it needs to be good. Otherwise, it's if they do a good game of all those things, they get all the past. That's costed. that's two things. So you know what the third one is. Story. No, <laughs> this is when is Crash Bandicoot had like out for the story was to come first. <laughs> no, the story was like one of those things where it would not be the most important thing, but it'd still be funny. Crash himself, you know, 
the thing with Radical Entertainment when they did those last ones on the PS3, the problem with it was that they made Crash dumb, not goofy. Crash is always goofy. He's not thick. He's not stupid. He's goofy. It's like there's a scene with him and Coco, and he's holding a spanner, and it's just this gothic style type of crash that they did. Mm. Admittedly, I give them the balls and the credit that they deserve to try something different, but in my eyes, it didn't work. And he's holding a wrench in one hand, and he's got nothing in the other hand. And Coco goes, Can you pass me the wrench? And he looks in his other hand that's got nothing in it. I'm like, He's not thick. He's goofy. He's not thick. And they got that wrong, and I didn't like that. And I thought, That's an insult to Crash. Oh, yeah. And. The one thing they did get right though, the theme tune with that game was brilliant. I'll give them that. Mind over mutants, the theme tune was spot on. I'm trying to think what else we've got. Um, the so final thing with the Crash Bandicoot thing that I was going to say was it just needs to be a decent game. Mm. Something fun. It needs to be fun. It doesn't have to be good. As long as it, there's no glitches. As long as you can make you laugh. And there are funny parts. It doesn't always necessarily have to be funny. I mean, just some of the act. You know, it doesn't even need to be. I like games that make you laugh. Speech, funny, just an action that Crash used to do made people laugh. There's a thing in Crash Tag Team Racing where um, one of the the Von Clutch he has this gem that he needs to put in his heart, and it makes him um, operate again. Mm. And he'd lost it, and he couldn't breathe properly, and then. He gets the gem. Obviously, Crash finds the gem, puts it back in him, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah!" And everyone's talking to him. And then the next thing you see is just go like that on the on the on his back, and the gem pops out. And everyone's like, "What happened?" And Custer crashes over by his car and goes, "Jumps in his car and drives off." That was brilliant. It was brilliant, and and that's what it needs. It doesn't need to be lyrically funny. It just needs to have moments like that. They need they need someone to do a good Cortex voice. Because there hasn't been a good one for a while. Crunch is another one that needs to be done properly. Uh, Coco, I'm not too fussed about actually, to be honest, because Coco's badass. And um, yeah, they need they need to go back. If they're going to make one, whoever it's going to be, who's going to make it, I don't know. If they do. There's been so many false starts as well. There was someone who, last year who was designing Crash Bandicoot, this reboot, mm. and they showed off the uh, designs of Crash. And they were in black and white because they hadn't uh, finalised them, but they were computerly in computer enhanced images, and it looked like that's the crash that you'd see on a PS4. Mm. That's spot on, but it it didn't happen, and it 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 it, it ruins the fact that you've got a franchise there that could easily sell eight million copies just because of nostalgia alone. <laughs> yeah, a queue outside the same reason. <laughs> just for- you would. You'd have a midnight opening for Crash Bandicoot. You would, wouldn't you? That reminds me of their Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, you could have a you could have a midnight opening for Crash Bandicoot, and do you know what would make it better? Everybody building it. No. There wouldn't be an online, because you wouldn't need an online for Crash Bandicoot. You wouldn't need a game plot that's more than like you wouldn't need something that's like twelve, fifty. It doesn't need to be twenty hours. It'd be like ten, eight to ten hours maybe. Yeah, exactly. And then if you've got a free roam world, just make it massive, just for people to find mini games and stuff like that keep you entertained for ages oh yeah I got one more thing to talk about as well go on Syndicate yeah that was an interesting one there's no online for that isn't there that's good no online which means the game's going to work no it will it will let's be fair Unity was all focused about flipping multiplayer multiplayer no they didn't care about the single player it was obvious that so it'll be a good game I think it looks good (laughs) even if it's not Historically accurate. Like that, always. Industrial Revolution did not have trains in it. <laughs> this has got trains in it. On the but I love, but I love, <laughs> I love AC and the way the uh, Ubisoft came out and said, "You're seeing it through the view person of someone in the pa- in the future." And I was just like, "Yeah, nice swerve, nice swerve, Ubisoft, because you know your balls off." <laughs> I like the fact that you can play as a woman. Can we? You really didn't listen to last week's podcast when we talked about AC Syndicate, did you? Can't. You didn't, did you? That doesn't work. You, there's no excuse. You yeah, have days is. off. Yeah. 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 Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, AC Syndicate. I'm looking forward to it. The fact that you can play as brother and sister, I think it'd be really good. And you can, for most part, you can pick who um, you're going to be. I'll be Evie, because that's the name of the female character. Mm. I'll play her for most of the time because I just want to play a female character in Assassin's Creed for a change. Could do if you got the Chinese expansion pack. That actually looked pretty decent. 
Except it's all like 2D. Well, I've played as Al- Aveline de Grand Prix before, so it doesn't really matter. She was the one next to her with Assassin's Creed 3. 3 with Connor, yeah. Yeah, I saw the story for that. It was pretty decent. It was, but the game itself was a bit... Dull. Yeah. Because she wasn't... She was alright. I mean, she, you know, I mean, Evie looks like she's got a bit more fire in her, which I like. Mm. Please have Sean back in this. Please. <laughs> I reckon it'll be more gory now as well. Really? Yeah. They have got a new fighting system in this. The, uh, Supposedly. Kitchen knife. They have, I've, I was watching the uh, the fighting moves that they were doing with uh, Syndicate on the gameplay video and it does look different. Whether it's going to be like different buttons. I mean, why don't they just like just it's get like it all the just time. get like flipping dead or alive people just to come over and give them a fighting style? How hard would that be? How fucking difficult. <laughs> how hard would that be? I mean, how... But it, it but it'd work. It would. How, how rewarding would that be if you got, like, a six-move combo in to kill oh. someone? How rewarding would that be rather than just pressing square all the freaking time? Square, 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 square. Triangle counter. Square, 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 square. Is yours triangle? Mine was circle. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> Mine was circle, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, LB, shoot. I don't know if... I still don't think no, that these two characters, maybe Evie will, but these two characters will be anywhere near Ezio standard. No one's going to be I don't above Ezio or LTA. Those two were great for me. Those no, two I'd, were brilliant. I thought Kenway was pretty impressive for me. Edward or Connor? No, Edward. Not Connor. Edward was brilliant. Mm. I, know, wasn't not, I, was, I reckon he was uh, just below. Mm, yeah, yeah. This is a good entry, Black Flag. But, I reckon they should have kept going with it, you know. He ended it too quickly. There was no way to go with it. Exactly, because they killed off the fucking main character in Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> yeah, but... Well, they didn't actually say... Well, actually, yeah, they did. In the lore you read up, they say he has been killed off. Hmm. I want a modern-day storyline little bit going, on, like they did with Desmond. Because they were good. They kill him off? Because Nolan North is too busy. <laughs> That's not the reason, but, you know. They killed off flipping... What was the girl who fancied? Roxanne, wasn't it? No, her name wasn't Roxanne. What am I thinking of? What the fuck am I thinking what of? What are you thinking of? There's no one ever called Roxanne in an Assassin's Creed game that I'm aware of. No. Nope. What was this? She was voiced by Kristen Bell, I know that much. Oh, really? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, Sean is... Yeah. Sean's Sean is... Guy. Sean is... Sean looks like the actor who plays him. Flipping... They all look like the way they do in real life. Sean looks like Sean Hastings in real life. I can't remember Kristen Bell who she plays. There's Rebecca who looks like I've forgotten her name too. But we need Rebecca back too. I don't know where the hell she is. Mm. And I don't know who this crazy bloody brunette is who's just randomly popped up out of nowhere. I don't like her. I don't You've know. Only been in for one game. I don't care. Actually, what was I going to say? And I'm starting to think whether um... your brain's not working. Yeah. I know. Rogue, did that have a modern day story? No, I don't know. You never played it, did you? I, I only watched it, yeah, so I never. Crap. This is coming from the man who flipping played the game, I loved the it, game, I, and I, still I, can't. Within a day, you don't even have to update your weapons to kill anybody. You can just kill them instantly by countering. <laughs> right. You just do that. Your ship does need to get improved by the last mission. Yeah. That's it. Or you can just sail through. Yeah. <sighs> it's a fun story. But can you remember whether there was a modern day story? Or <laughs> You're flipping hopeless. The past day story was brilliant because it's mixed in with the assassins and um, Achilles and Unity. Yes, at the end. Yeah. Which you don't want to spoil it, but for anybody, which I did last time. Yeah. Well done. Accidentally. Well done. Yeah. Should know that. I know. But um, that yeah, I think I think we can uh, call this call this one quits because. We've we've come to the end of the podcast for today. Without Mikey interrupting, just me. <laughs> yeah, just just Matty, for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at JackTM53. You want to follow Mikey, you can follow him in a tent in Wales. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Crying about his technology. Uh, if you want to follow Matty somewhere in the streets in Greasby, preferably in Tesco Bidston. Uh, Moggy's also got... Is Moggy ever going to appear? He will do once he's not busy. And I do feel sorry for him because he's still going through a lot. But uh, he's at Lewis underscore Moggy on, on Twitter as well. 
like on Facebook, comment, subscribe. You don't have to do any of those things. Just watching us would be nice. Um, Just a few, that's all we need. That's all I'm happy about. That's all I've ever really been bothered about. <laughs> One comment would make our, our day, though. No, it doesn't make my day. I would make mine. We've had a comment. Well, if it was on my video, then it would make my day. <laughs> We've actually had a comment, but I haven't said what it is. <laughs> is it shit? No. <laughs> it was a very strange comment that I'm not going to say out loud. <laughs> What's it wasn't thing? racist or anything, but it was just very weird. So I just decided I wouldn't mention it. This happened last last week, I think it was. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, that's it for very that's it for this people. Thanks very much for listening. Uh, it's bye from Matty. Bye bye. And it's bye from me. And we've been the S team.